Kemeriahan tahun baru Imlek tahun ini kembali terasa di kawasan pecinan di penjuru AS termasuk di San Francisco negara bagian California. It feels very exciting to come back, you know, the feel of energy, the feel of vibe, you know, for Chinese culture is very important to to hang out with family, be with friends and uh, to get together and kind of to, to mix the the good energy around. It's just it's really exciting and it's also just really heartwarming. And it's um, long overdue. I think people are really just excited and can't wait for you know life to come back to normal. Terakhir kali ada parade atau perayaan besar tahun baru Imlek di sini adalah pada dua tahun lalu. 2020 is the last year that the San Francisco have a big celebration. After the 2020 parade, the city shut down because of the pandemic. Di sini setempat pun kini merasakan bedanya, termasuk toko Lion Trading Goods yang menjual amplop merah angpau dan berbagai kebutuhan lainnya. Yeah, since the pandemic, no one has really stepped outside of their house, and this year finally, after vaccinations and all of that, people are starting to come out a bit, and like you see here, like people are starting to come in here a lot more than uh, last year, and so that's a very good thing. Pengusaha di kawasan pecinan kota New York pun juga merasakan bedanya antara Imlek tahun ini dengan tahun sebelumnya. What I'm hearing from people is better what now today is better than what I've been hearing two years ago. Two years ago it was pretty bleak. Uh, there was nobody on the streets. Now we see the crowds are out here. Everybody's preparing for the Lunar New Year. Uh, they're buying their traditional ingredients to make their uh, end of the year feast. Pada saat yang sama, dua tahun terakhir warga Tionghoa dan Asia semakin merasakan sentimen anti Asia oleh mereka yang mengaitkan COVID dengan orang Asia. Chinese have been here for well over 150 years. Uh, there has always been racism against Chinese, but this pandemic has exposed that and has really brought it up uh, where people actually, you know, instead of their their implicit bias, they really went overt and they really went out and did something. Because this pandemic and all this hate crime and you know what this what it did to the business and the people locally, I think everybody came together and they're actually helping each other and they want to look out for each other now. I feel the community is more tight knitted. Satu lagi yang menjadi perhatian adalah bahwa pemasukan yang sudah mulai normal akhirnya tertekan akibat perbakan varian Omicron. Selain itu, tak banyak turis yang berkunjung ke restoran dan berbagai usaha di sekitar kawasan pecinan, seperti saat sebelum pandemi. Dari Washington DC, saya Nova Purwadi dan Tindu.